independent professional wrestler Renell Hunt, Justin Labar here with you in uh, the debate that has sparked after what happened this past weekend when Finn Balor wins the universal, th universal title but in that match ends up getting injured, uh, I believe the shoulder, yeah. uh, and it all stemmed off of the running powerbomb. Now this is the same running powerbomb from Seth Rollins who uh, Sting attributed that this was the move that, that, that did him in when he fought Seth Rollins a year ago. Obviously Rollins has also had, you know, he, he whacked John Cena's nose. He, yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's buckled his own knee. There's so Roll, Rollins issues. has been involved in a lot of injuries for himself or other people here. I'm just going to go ahead and say it out. I said a little bit on radio. I'm going to say it real quickly, and I'll let you get in here because obviously you have full training no, in man, the ring. But I want, I, I, want to, I want to say this. I do not think Seth Rollins is careless or reckless. I do think that he has worked more matches than anybody else in WWE in the last couple of years. He's had more length of time of matches. So probability is in, you know probability for things to go wrong, odds of increase, I get that. Uh, I do think this running power bomb. If WWE doesn't do it, Seth needs to take the initiative himself and stop using the move. He's got too much of an arsenal. It's not worth it. This is a move, Renell. And correct me if I'm wrong. It'd be one thing if, if he, he he's he's letting them go way too far away before he drops them into the turnbuckle of the barricade. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there's more more time and more room for anything mm -hmm. to happen. They can't see where they're going. Hence. Balor braces himself with his arm, not sure if he's going to smack his neck or whatever. There's just too many risks in this. And I don't see – there's no point of it. Just get rid of well, this at, damn move. At the, at, the, at the same time, it's like this. You look at so many matches. We talked about the, the depth of matches that he has. How many years has he been, you know, wrestling in general? The thing is this. I understand you ban the move because people are, are executing it wrong. But the thing is – Freak accidents are freak accidents. We go through. It's professional wrestling. We're not playing patty cake right now. Listen, we take normal power bombs. We can say the same thing about. Listen, here, there's no, this. A normal thing. power bomb is you're taking a flat back bump. The very first thing you learn. This is your body being contorted, going up against something vertical and stationary. It's not right. At the at the same time, look at it just like this. At the same time, listen. How many times has he given that and no one has got hurt? Number one, all the respect in the world to Sting. All the respect in the world. But when you go back to when he talked about this on the air, he said, "Listen, I don't know what was going on. It was just a freak accident. I had I had." whiplash it got to my neck i couldn't feel it let's be honest he's not a young john cena in his prime he's not a young uh, seth Rollins. he is a guy that's climbing up in age it's easier it's more capable of you to get injured which exactly happened it's not like he broke his neck it's not like he got a concussion but obviously a whip uh, obviously the there's a higher risk so why keep that higher risk seth Rollins is the top guy he's working top guys we don't need to put risk at top guys not to say that i would think differently if it was lower card guys but it just elevates my point here seth Rollins has an arsenal of moves he doesn't need to do this move. at the same time can you say the same thing about the hurricane Ron? Can, can, can you say can you, you can say the same we thing about having, so many We haven't been having problems with Hurricane Ron. This running power bomb is this generation's uh, pile driver. The thing, the, thing is, the thing is, I honestly think that if you had an association, a LeBar Wrestling Association, it will be nothing but a bunch of diva pillow fights because you're scared of guys getting in the ring and actually be professional wrestlers. No. That's what we do. We are professional wrestlers. Brother, you know, you know, I, we do. you know I'm all for understanding that pro wrestling is not ballet and there's going to be injuries here. What I'm saying, this, this move has an unusual and un unnecessary amount of risk he's letting he's standing here and letting them go and they're still four feet to their target if he would hold on to them and have more control a little bit sooner before slamming them into a turnbuckle it'd be different but he's launching them it's too much risk maybe 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 a lot of guys don't know how to take it right maybe, you know whatever the case may be just get rid of the damn move okay Not so, so, so here's, here's the thing i'm all for physicality i'm all for this. physicality let me ask you this if you want them to I get defended away, this brock lesnar if, finish i'm all for listen, physicality. if you want them to get away get rid of the running power bomb if that's the case, let's look how simple it is. It's a simple thing. Pick them up as a normal power bomb. We all know this. As a wrestler, you understand how you have to do it, the technique. Where your hand placement everything has to be, the technique of that. We understand that we're going into a vertical odd up. It's not horizontal. But at the same time, it's a freak thing. Going back to Sting, it was just a neck. Going back to Finn Balor recently, it was a simple thing of grabbing it. Okay, we, we, we've thrown people in the beer case when they go upside down. We have done things where we drop people when they go vertical. Maybe, the he's, is, maybe he's let them loose. Maybe he's letting them go too far away. Okay, well, listen, listen, let me tell you this. How many more people do we have to have freak accents before we decide to... Okay, uh, okay, listen, let, if that is the case, let's get rid of ladder matches. Let's uh, get rid of steel cage matches. Let's get rid of last man standing. Heck, let's just ban Brock Lesnar if that's the case. Because right now, what I think you're doing, I think you're trying to make a Pansy Wrestling Association. Uh, the Rev would not ever work for a Pansy Wrestling Association. I'm a professional wrestler. This is what I do. I hope you take that running power bomb. Listen, I will glad uh, you want. I can yeah. give you one if you need. Yeah, well, wait, hey, maybe, maybe a future segment. We'll get in the ring and we'll try to we'll try to analyze how this move should be done. Please, however many likes we do, that's how many running power bombs I'm giving. We want to know what you think. Hashtag WZCSR. I want to know what you think. And Josh Eisenberg, he's going to give us your thoughts plus his. Eisenberg, take it away. Thanks, Justin Renell.
You need a drink, man. You're getting fired up in there, but I'm outside of the Squirrel Hill Sports Bar reading some of your tweets. WZCSR is the hashtag. Use it with any of your thoughts. We filter out some of the best ones. Talking about power bombs and specifically Seth Rollins' power bomb that he's used that has now taken out two people, first Sting and now Finn Balor. Mr. Pink tweets, yes, it forced Sting into retirement and put Finn Balor on the shelf for six months. It's dangerous. And another tweet goes from Benny Douglas, who also uh, tweeted at CS Reality with the hashtag WZCSR. Like Lance Storm said, the danger is taken solely by the one taking the move too dangerous into CSR. So it's going to be interesting to see what WWE does. And thank you guys for those tweets. I personally do not want to see them ban moves because, you know, you, you banned a pile driver, but every once in a while you get a pile driver on special occasions. You're not going to need to ban this if you just don't do it as much. Seth Rollins is great. He has such a great arsenal of athleticism, and his ability in the ring makes him the guy that you want to see. And one of those moves is the power bomb. I get what Justin was saying. Is it necessary? I don't necessarily know if it's necessary each and every single week to have that. But at the same time, you don't want to take away all of these moves. If you can learn how to bump back, it's not like the guy's being thrown into a cage. It's not like he's, he's being thrown into a turnbuckle and a little bit of a post. I think that a wrestling ring is a little bit harder on the back than throwing him into the barricade. Both of those are strong. you got to just realize that WWE can't ban this. What's next? Like Rennell said, we're going to ban ladder matches. We're going to ban chair shots. I mean, you better not ban chair shot reality. I think that WB needs to really realize if you ban this, it's going to continue to ban something else, and then something else, and then something else. This would be the second move. You remember the curb stomp? I love that. Yeah, it might have been a little too dangerous putting his, uh, his, his back, the back of his head and back down to the mat. Mm, I don't want to do that. I might do it to the bar once, but you can't ban every single move. You can't do it. Let these wrestlers wrestle. Let them train and learn how to fall. I'm not taking the bump, so maybe I'm thinking differently. Chair shot reality all weekend long. Stay here. We're coming back hot, coming back at you. Universal title talk and so much more on WrestleZone.com.